and welcome back to this another video on C++ Essentials. In this video, we're going to talk about syntax. Syntax is basically how your structure of the code looks and feels. And we're going to be talking in, with an example where I'll explain line by line what is happening in the code. I'm going to be talking about a very simple code, which is hello world. Probably the code that is used for every programming language to declare that the program is set it up and everything is working absolutely fine. And this in this video, we're going to talk be about you know how the code and structure is defined. Okay, so let's start with the first one and let's see how we are going to plan this entire thing. We have C++ code example, which is where we are going to start the code. Explain the example. I'll explain the example. Points to remember, you know, where you are omitting, what is uh, omitting, and what is namespace. You know, probably all these four points are the ones which you should be keeping in your mind. And how do you go about them? Okay, let's start with the entire thing and the code that we're going to take. Now, this is a very simple code. Uh, the probably the first code that you would come across while you are solving or for a basic structural or you know if you're tech testing out if your software is working or not be it vs code be it code block be it turbo c plus plus or anything else this is the code that you use essentially for you know testing out if hello world is working now let's start breaking it down okay for the first line says iostream okay hashtag include iostream now iostream is nothing but a header file okay this is a header file library that lets you work with input and output so io means input and output okay it's going to be input and output both at the same time next we have using namespace std okay now namespace std is something which is new which came into the recent revision in 2017 uh, which which explains you know that we can use the namespace for objects and variables from a standard library now initially C out and C in were declared using something else. Now what they have done is they they shifted entirely to namespace standards. Okay, so STD is a library, and in case or the way you want to use that library is using namespace. Namespace is nothing but a declaration that we are going to use the standard files from the stand STD library. Okay, that's how you explain STD standards. Okay, let's move on to the next part, which is int main. Okay, the int main or you know the main function this is called by the way this is a function okay this is called a function any code inside curly brackets will be executed so you know you declared a function then function name is main and you know anything which is inside is going to be you know the executed now int main is the main body of your entire code which is going to structurally consume or you know keep all the codes intact okay then you have c out now what is c out c out is nothing but a simple code which is used to you know display an output on the screen in case you want to get any output on the screen, you need to use C out. Also followed by these, you know, greater than symbol, which rem which assembles in a way that you know the next text is going to be output of the screen, or you know the output of that I'm going to get on the screen. Okay, that explains that you know we use C out for everything that you want to output. Okay. Then we have return zero. Okay, now returns are basically used when you are using functions okay wherever you have a function or you and you don't want to return anything usually functions return a value in case they are designed in that way in this case we are not returning anything okay the int main function is you know started and then ended and we're not returning anything that's why I return zero okay so by definition if i go end is the main function and that user defined function is returning false okay so it's not returning anything it's just giving the output on the screen hello world that's all okay the end bracket you know the end bracket declares that the function started and the function ended it's as simple as that you know you don't really have to go about uh you know explaining much more stuff because you know your function started and it fu and function ends and that's how your program starts and ends okay it's as simple as that Okay, now the key points to remember, I'm, go I'm gonna put out all the points over here. So every C++ statement ends with a semicolon. Very important, okay? Very, very important that every C++ statement ends with a semicolon. The compiler will ignore spaces. You don't really have to worry about spaces in until unless you're using an online compiler. In case you are in your, your college or university, you might be coming across compilers that require even the spaces to be removed. That is a little bit of a problem over there, but you know, most of the compilers or the IDEs, Visual Studio Code, code blocks, you don't really have that problem. Multiple lines make the code more readable, okay? So, you know, if you're using, you know, if you're having a lot of space and if you're having a lot of, you know, you know, proper spacing and you have the code in line or blocks, it's gonna be much more readable Rem always remember it's not you who is going to always maintain the code it's probably going to some be someone else who is going to maintain the code as well so you know you should be always having in mind that you know your show code should be clean and neat so that you know anyone who is reading it should be able to use it okay that's pretty much the key points now 
omitting namespace okay so namespace is something that you know confuses a lot of people because it's not there uh, in the earlier versions you know so namespace is something which is you know the using uh, the using namespace std can be omitted and with replaced with std okay now when i say std what, what happens is you are using std as a declaration okay the std keyword should be followed with the this operator for some objects now what is this operator you know two double dots basically making a four dots it's known as scope resolution operator okay this defines the scope of a variable and this defines you know where all these values can go okay so that that pretty much covers the entire idea and that's how you go about uh, making your entire code structure i hope you had a lot of fun i hope you learned a lot of stuff and i'll see you all in the next one till then peace